The Merlin Annual Pass is a great way to get into multiple attractions across the UK, but it doesn't come without its gripes. Today I'm going to be talking about my issues with the Merlin Annual Pass and why I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting one. Now I've already done a video recommending the Merlin Annual Pass and comparing the Silver Merlin Annual Pass to all of the other Merlin Annual Passes available at the moment, so go watch that video if you want to learn more about the Merlin Annual Pass. But if you go on to like this video and you find it useful, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So the first point that I wanted to make today is if you're someone who's looking to go to one specific attraction, say Autumn Towers, and you're not bothered about going to Chesington World of Adventures or Thought Park, the Merlin Annual Pass just doesn't make sense for you. You're better off going for the Autumn Towers Pass or the Chesington Pass or the Thought Pass, depending on what park you're looking to go back to all year round. Now also this will save you money because the Alton Towers Pass, um, the Chesington Pass and the Thorpe Park Pass all go for £119 on their website at the moment, whereas the Merlin Annual Pass will cost you significantly more depending on which pass you go for. But this brings me on to my next point. Now if you're looking at buying a Merlin Annual Pass historically, you'd be presented with two options. The Standard Merlin Annual Pass and the Premium Merlin Annual Pass. Now this was such a simple system for people to understand, but if you were to go on the Merlin Annual Pass Annual Pass website today, you'll see four options. Now I'm going to put a chart on screen now and this shows the differences between all of the passes available by Merlin at the moment. Now in my opinion this is so complicated for the average consumer and for someone who doesn't know what they're looking at it's going to put them off buying a brand new Merlin Annual Pass and that's such a shame. This system is so convoluted um, and it's much more complicated than it needs to be. Now I'm going to give you a brace, basic breakdown um, of all the passes that are available at the moment, um, but I would definitely look at the Merlin Annual Pass website before purchasing a brand new Merlin Annual Pass. Now the Silver Pass is a great pass for those who don't drive um, and don't mind not getting free car parking. Also with the Silver Annual Pass you're not going to be getting um, all days um, entry as well. There are going to be some days that are excluded throughout the year for example. The same with the Gold Pass, you're not going to be able to get in all year round but you are going to have um, car parking included with the Gold Pass. And if you're looking for the full Monty um, car parking, you want them to go all year round, um, and you want to get into those special events, the Platinum Pass is definitely for you. But just bear in mind that the Platinum Pass is the most expensive pass that Merlin currently offer. Before COVID, if you wanted to visit a Merlin attraction, all you had to do was walk up to the gate, scan your pass and get in. If you want to visit a Merlin Annual Pass attraction these days though, you have to go on to the Merlin Annual Pass pre-book portal, pre-book your slot, if there are any, and then you can visit the Merlin attraction. Now I hate this pre-book portal with a passion so, so much, and Merlin have made it abundantly clear that it's here to stay, and I absolutely hate it. Now you think, Ryan, if you developed a, a dedicated pre-book portal, you'd have a username and password that stores all your previous visits, stores your pass number, etc. No, this is not the case. If you want to pre-book a Merlin um, attraction, you have to go onto the site, type in your details every time, type in your card number, type in your address, um, which in my opinion isn't um, completely necessary. They don't need to know your address every time. Um, and then you can pre-book the slot. For, as, um, for someone who visits as many any um, Merlin attractions as I do, it's such a hassle and again I hate it so so much. Now um, Merlin have offered this as a perk on their website which I find really really cheeky. Um, so what I mean by that is if you um, purchase the silver or gold um, Merlin annual pass you only have up to three pre-book slots meaning you can only book three attractions in advance before visiting, where with the um, Platinum Pass, um you can book up to six um, pre-book slots at a time, um, meaning that you can book six attractions um, at a time before visiting. Um, and I hate this concept so much. I think it's so anti-consumer, it's unbelievable. Um, and I totally think that um, Merlin should abolish the pre-book portal going forward. So the last point I have to make today then is the price of the Merlin Annual Pass. Now, this will be subjective from person to person because um, one person may visit 
visit more Merlin annual pass attractions um, than another person, for instance. For me personally, I see the value in the Platinum Pass because I go to Merlin attractions so often, um, I can make my um, money back in a couple of months, for instance, um, whereas someone else may not be able to do that. And as a result, you may buy the wrong pass for you, um, meaning that you're spending more money than you have to. Now, you've got to understand with the Merlin annual pass, they, there are uh, pay monthly options available um, for, the, for the silver, gold and platinum pass. Um, but you would need to check the Merlin annual pass website again to make sure that you're not paying for something that you're not going to use. So guys, that's been my video on the Merlin annual pass and why you shouldn't purchase one if you were looking at purchasing one. Now, again, these are only my thoughts and opinions. So if you have your own, please do leave them down in the comment section below. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to think on this topic because it is so controversial. And I know the Merlin annual pass in general has been so controversial recently. You're going to be wanting to be subscribed, by the way, because I have a vlog from the opening of Flamingo Land's brand new roller coaster, Sick, coming up. Um, and I can't wait to get that out there for you guys because it's going to be so exciting and it looks like such a good roller coaster. So again, make sure you subscribe for that. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. I've been Ryan from my coaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. No